you know, one little thing leads to another, and bam, next thing you know, it's, you just can't, you know, it just happens, you know, it, thinking with the wrong head, and it just kind of no, boom, no, goes over there. Right like that. No, but, uh, I, but see, that's why I like to think that, see, because, I mean, I know something happened here, but what I'm trying to find out is what happened, because I think that, you know, you're not like one of them other guys, you're not Jeffrey Dahmer and those no. stuff like that. I'm thinking it's just something a chance happened. You didn't plan for nothing, you're all over there kind of messing around, things maybe went a little too far. You know, and I mean, that, that happens. I mean, young teenagers, the hormones, testosterone, I mean, it, it's roaring, start kissing, start messing around, stuff happens. That's why I'd like to think that this wasn't something that wasn't something that you planned out, just something that just kind of happened. Sure, there's nothing to freaking, there's nothing that happened. There's nothing that happened. You know, I, I, I've seen the medical evidence and stuff. I just wanted your DNA to compare it to the DNA that, that they've got there. And, and that's why I'm trying to give you the opportunity here because I know you're not like one of them, like Jeffrey Dahmer, one of the people like that. You're not like that. You're not like an animal. You're just somebody that had something happened. You know, we just wrong time, wrong people. You know, Wayne. The only reason I'm sitting here today, I've screwed up. I've done stuff that I'm not proud of. There's a lot of stuff I'm ashamed of. Stuff that I definitely want to tell my kid when he gets older because I'm ashamed that happened to him. But the only reason I'm sitting here today was because I fessed up to it. And it's human nature not to want to admit some we screw stuff up. It's how we're ashamed of it. We're embarrassed when stuff happens bad. But the only way to take care of stuff is to fess up and say, look, I screwed up, it was an accident, because I figured it was an accident, and it wasn't something that was planned, because like I said, you're not like any of them people. I mean, if you're not, if you are like that, then I'm wasting my time here. I mean, if you need to be, way too well, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying, see, exactly, exactly, exactly. exactly. see, you were raised to it by your parents, uh, you know, so they, they care about crazy. you. You know, and that's why I'm thinking that this was just kind of a circumstantial thing. He was at the wrong place, the wrong time, the hormones were roaring and raging, you know, and when you start making out with somebody, things lead to one thing to the next, and stuff happens. That's why I want to believe that you're the good person that I thought of when you were a kid and that this is just an accident, that this is just something that just kind of happened. But that's what I need to know, because I mean, it's either one or the other. It's either A, you planned it out, or B, it just happened by accident. So. Is it? Did you plan it, or was it an accident? I didn't plan nothing. Uh, Nothing's ever planned with well, me. That's what I'm saying. It's not planned. You know, it was just Nothing's something that happened. Nothing's ever planned with me. I'm always lived day by day because I that's found out saying. life's easier that that's way. That's what I'm saying. Just this just, it, this you know? accident. You was there. Things led to one thing to the next, and then something just happened. I'm always, you know, just like that's I what I'm trying even, to say. Like, have you talked to her about this since this happened? No, I haven't had any contact with her. Do you, I have pretty much no clue what's going are, are on until freaking Crawford called me and said, hey, we need to talk. So, but I mean, none of this stuff, you didn't plan any of this stuff no. out. No, it was just kind of something that just happened. It was just I kind mean, of a spur of the moment just, thing. It led one thing, led to another. Is that what happened? No, I mean, it just led one thing to another. Because you just said you didn't plan it out. I mean, if you didn't plan it out, then it's just something that happened. And, and that's kind of what I need to know, if it was one or the other. I mean, I like to think that it was just something that just happened because, like you said, you've got a good upbringing. You've been a, a good kid. Other than a few I times, go to church. Place. Well, there you go. You know, I have my there you go. God. You know, I'm not, and, and I'm not an gonna, animal. I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I'm that's just what I'm saying. Be out when there something you, you screw up and, and accidents happen, the first thing we do is we go to God and we say, "Look, I'm sorry for what happened." And, and that's true, though, right? You're sorry for what happened. And it's like, it, I see, that's what I'm saying. Church, you go to church, church and I'm, I'm good. good. So you're not like them other people because they don't go to church, they don't care about God, they don't care about their religion, they don't care about their family. But I you're got different. too much stuff you, here. Exactly. You've got a lot of stuff. Even, that stuff would, you know, that's exactly what I'm saying. Why this stuff care just happens. I got happens. a car I have to fix. I got exactly. family that I got to That's what I'm saying. You're a good guy. You're not like these other guys. You've got all these things here. That's why you wouldn't find something like that. This think about Exactly. Exactly. That's why this thing just happened. It was an accident. Uh, it just spurred the moment. One thing led to another. Things went too far, and it just happened. 
I mean, a good Christian boy like you wouldn't plan something like this mm-hmm. out, would you? No, I didn't think so. Not nobody that was raised like you, you wouldn't go out planning mm-hmm. something like that because you'd be an animal and you're not like it. That's why this just happened. It was I mean, actually. A lot of people look at me and think, oh, what a freak. But you know what? If well, they actually got to know me, they would actually. Yeah, you be don't a judge a book by the cover, you do the inside. Uh, the I know I'm not a good Did you ask for but... forgiveness for what you did? Did you ask God to forgive you for this? I'm sure you have. You're a Christian. Have you asked for it? I haven't even been to church in like two weeks because I haven't been able to make it because I've been working. Well, you still talk to God, I'm sure. I still pray. And and still pray. Well, see, look, that's what you, you keep telling me how good of a person you are, and I agree with you fully. I know where you're coming from because you're not like them animals. You're not like one of them guys. That's why I'm saying it didn't get planned. It was just something, a spur-of-the-moment thing. It, when things went too far, and it just happened. Am I right? It just happened. You didn't plan it. You went over there. One thing led to the next, and it happened. And afterwards, it was like, oh, crap, what did I do? I'm better than that. I'm Wayne. I was raised better than that. This didn't happen. Isn't that what happened? Is that what happened or not, Wayne? Because you're a good person. I could see afterwards you felt, what did I just do? You know, you were embarrassed, maybe humiliated a little bit, maybe ashamed because you were raised better than that. Is that? Am I wrong or am I right? Because like I said, I mean, you're... Tell me exactly what I know about you, that, that you're better than that. That's why this stuff would have just happened. I mean, things get heated, you know, with emotions and, and especially youth, youth, the, you know, the testosterone and everything runs high, the emotions and stuff, and you throw a little bit of kissing and stuff in there with somebody you care about, and, and sometimes things just go a little bit too far. But I, I'm just trying to find out what really went on here, Wayne. And I know you're a good person, so that's why I'm trying to f- believe that, that it was just an accident, it was just something that went a little too far, things that just went. But you stopped yourself, didn't you? Didn't you stop it? When she started trying to go further, I just, yo, hold so up, you stopped check, it. stop. And I was like, all right, I don't feel comfortable, I'm going to leave, and I just left. And I went to a friend's house, sat there, and I was like, dude... Give me a cigarette because I was out and I was like, man, I need a cigarette. And I, he was like, why? Well, I was like, dude, I just got fleet, just completely freaked out and he called me gay and I was like, dude. Did you penetrate her? No. No? How far did you get? No, I was like kissing and hugging. Didn't go any farther? Oh. No, Wayne, come on. No, it went farther than that. Be honest with me. Tell me the truth. Tell me what's really going on because now I'm thinking maybe that's something that was planned. But I'd like to no, think that that wasn't nothing's... true. Wayne, I, I know there was at least penetration there. There wasn't. That's what I'm trying to put out. There's no penetration. I did not penetrate this girl. I did not do anything with that girl of that sort. Come on, Wayne, you need to be honest with me. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with God about what's really going on. If you're really this good person like I think you are, like you're telling me, are you going to be honest with me? you be honest with God and be honest with that girl is what's going on here. Because I'm on your side here, Wayne. That's why I'm not comparing you to this other guy over here that I'm talking about. I think you're over here. I mean, you're a good Christian boy. You said you go to church. You go to church when you can, which that's like a lot of us. It's hard sometimes because you got to make ends meet and try to go to the church. And I like to think that God understands that we're trying to do the best we can. To the church. Well, good, good for you. That it, and if you were like this other guy, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't go there at all. But you're doing it. You're doing it. So that's why I want to know this: how far things went. I, I already know how far they went, Wayne. But I, I was all, also know that once it went that far, you were the one that stopped it. You were the one that took control of the situation. You were the one. That once it started, and I know it started, you stopped it. You were the one that walked off. She wasn't able to get away from you. You stopped it and walked off, which shows you're better than that other guy because you stopped yourself. You caught yourself and said, whoa, I'm better than that. I'm not like that. I'm not an animal. And you got up and you left. But see, Wayne, if you were like that other guy, like I said, I wouldn't be here. This would be a waste of my time. It would be a waste of your time. And, and you wouldn't even have shown up to talk to me. But you showed up, well, I actually showed up to talk to Officer Crawford. But that's why you showed up, because, you know, you want to get this taken care of. You want to get it off your chest, and you want to make it all good. No, I was just asked to come in to get asked a few questions. I was like, all right, I'll answer a few questions. But 
now, right now, I feel like I'm the one being interrogated, so I'm feeling really uncomfortable right now, and I'd really like to leave. Well, you're more welcome to wait. Uh, uh, yeah, dude, I'm not feeling comfortable without my dad. I really ain't, dude. I'm sorry, but I don't know. Well, that's quite all right, Wayne. We're just here trying to find out.